Hello YouTube, I am going to press now the G.I. Joe number 21 and I'm going to show you how I do it. A new feature that I utilize when I press comics now is I bought two steel sheets from Home Depot. This is the steel sheet, it's a 12 by 12 piece galvanized steel. 28 gauge you can buy it right off the shelf do be careful the edges are sharp i'm going to grind them down all around so i don't risk cutting myself and cutting the comic as well so what i do next is i take a backer board i put it into the center fold of the comic. In this case, we find it. I'll place it in the center. And then what I'll do is I use heavy duty copy paper. I put that over the nonstick Teflon sheets. There you go. And then also what I'll do is I'll take another sheet and I'll put it behind the cover between the last page. Next, I put the book down. And the reason why I put this copy paper down so the Teflon sheet does not put little markings on the cover. Next, I'll take another heavy duty piece of copy paper and I'll put it behind the front cover. Then I'll take another sheet of the same copy paper, put it over the front cover. Then I'll put my non-stick paper, Teflon sheet. Then lastly, I'll sandwich it with the 12 by 12 sheet of galvanized steel that you can buy from Home Depot. Then I set my press at 173. This is the temperature that I use for all my pressings, golden age or modern comics. And then I put it down nice and tight. And then we close it. Now I'll keep this on, generally speaking, for a half an hour to an hour for modern age books. For golden age books, sometimes I'll keep the actual press on for two hours, maybe more. So we'll let this sit in there, see how it turns out. I'll wait a half an hour or maybe a little bit more, then I'll flip it do the other side, the back cover, and then for another half an hour or so. And then after that, I'll leave it in the press overnight, 24 hours maybe, sometimes a little bit more to see how the press took. So if you like this video, any useful tips that I gave you, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And... Look out for future videos. Thank you, YouTube. Take care.